All right, we have a package here. I'm gonna use my wallet ninja to get in here. This is something that is very intriguing to me because it's some things that I haven't seen before. Let's see what we got here. This is from Macari. This is how it's packed. Oh wow! Here we go. All right, let's start out with this one right here. We have Golden Age Catwoman. This is like a DC superheroes, DC super uh, universe classics rather legacy edition figure. So you got the ab crunch there. But it's funny though, I feel like with the app crunch on the DC Universe Classics, they don't really do much. Like, what was the point of this app crunch? It doesn't, doesn't go forward, doesn't go back. Really interesting design choice. Um, like a flat profile. Uh, but this is actually a really nice figure. Uh, I like the cape. I love the color scheme of the purple and the green. Nice eye paint job and the purple link. Very cool. This figure is actually really nice and comes with a little base. Let's see if I put it on. I think there's only yeah, there's one peg on this foot, so she can stand like that. Get to her back to the lot. We have. This looks like maybe the DC Unlimited Penguin. Let's go ahead and put the bag on. I like that it has the uh, plastic superpowers coloring. That is a little loose on this, but that's okay. It's fine. It's one accessory. I, I thought it was two for a second. It's got like a, almost like a machine, machine gun type of thing here. On the, let's see how it fits. There we go. Looks good. Looks good. It's iconic. This is the way that Penguin, in my mind's eye, would look. I like my characters to look classic, so I like the purple pinstripe uh, pants, the blue, the blue jacket and top. Yeah, this is awesome. This totally reminds me of that old Superpowers and Kenner line, uh, even the Toy Biz version. So yeah, that's awesome. Got a penguin. Knocked that one right off the list. Very nice. We do have a bat, uh, but we also have two others here. This one that I want to talk about next, we have Riddler. Riddler, no staff. Maybe I can find one loose or something like that. But uh, this is interesting. I'm not really sure. What, I, th I think this is DC Universe Classics. I love this old deco suit. The question marks all over it. I had heard that they did this figure on a Green Lantern body at one point. I'm not sure if this is that version or not, but definitely awesome. You got the iconic purple and green, very similar to our Catwoman with the purple and green, so they fit nicely together. Uh, yeah, so we got Riddler. I'm definitely building out a Batman rogues gallery right now, so having a Riddler is excellent. We have two villains left. Let's go with this one. This is the one that I really wanted to take a look at here. So, this figure, every time I've seen it, has been one color on the same side. But yet, this listing that I found, whoop! This listing that I found has the split leg, and it is split leg on the crotch. This is so interesting. I've never seen this version before. Uh, I don't know if it's a misprint or if this was meant to be this way, but I have to find more information on this. This is Two-Face, seemingly from the DC Universe Classics. No coin or anything like that from the flip, but you do get this awesome Tommy gun. It's a little hand. Looks like the trigger finger is not quite out for it, so maybe let's try this. Maybe he flips the coin with the evil hand. It just like slides out when you go to put it in. All right, that's a little better. There we go. Interesting enough though that the trigger finger goes behind the actual trigger. But um, wow, that's to look at this side menacing. Menacing from this side. And then you can actually two hand hold that. So yeah, we'll try that. That'll be 
looks great. Two handhold loose head, but what are you gonna do? Looking semi normal from this side. It's got a bicep swivel. And we got some regular articulation on the thigh cut. This is cool. Let's see how to get it in a really good pose. For now, this is this is doing the trick. Awesome. I, I definitely wanted a classic looking one. I do like the black and white look to him on the suit, but I'm all for classic colors and this kind of just pops purple and orange and I had to see about this crotch lid here because I never saw one that had the opposite pair of pants on so that's really interesting to me this is this is the one that I wanted the most out of the whole set so there you have it two-face ECU awesome. all right we last but not least we have two more that are the most iconic out of all of these so let's go ahead and check these out let's go with this classic version of the Joker and he has oh he's got a Joker fish with him interestingly enough something interesting about this figure that was just noticed behind this jacket the colors are totally different like this this color up here is clearly the same color as this backing but then you get to here that's a totally different color it's like he's not even meant to to show that Really interesting, but I uh, gotta love a purple suited Joker. The only other one that I have is a, a black suited Joker from the Mad Love 2 pack. So I'm all for a little variety and getting a little more classic look. This face from this angle looks great. From here looks a little more menacing and chubby cheeky. But yeah, I do kind of like this. Not bad at all. Not my favorite head sculpt, but very cool. Yeah, actually, this, this app crunch kind of works, but for the females, it really, really doesn't. So here we have the Joker, DC Universe Classics. All right, and last but not least, we have the, what they are considering the Golden Age, Golden Age Batman. Love this head sculpt. Super campy looking, straight black right there just awesome black uh, undies also you got the little batman base for him so he can stand on it love these bases they just elevate it a little bit no pun intended uh, what, what, what can we say about this great things same things bicep swivel got the ab crunch got the thigh swivel it's basically the same buck you've seen before from any other the batman or Batman DC Universe Classics. No extra accessories with this, so just good old bare bones, fun, black and blue and gray. Well done. Short ear profile on uh, cowl, cape that just drapes down nicely. Well done. Got a bunch of Batmans already, so, and he's my favorite, so. Batman. Batman. Can't be mad at that. And then let's get a big picture of all of them together. Batman. Batman. And here we have all six figures from that lot together. And they look absolutely awesome. Two-Face, Catwoman, Batman, Penguin in front, Riddler, and Joker. DC Universe Classics, got Legacy Editions, Batman Unlimited all on display. I'm gonna add these to the Batman Rogues Gallery. They will be joining Mr. Freeze, Deathstroke, a bunch of other Bane. Yeah, we got a lot of other villains to fill in here. So this was a healthy influx. So happy to have these. Thanks to the Macari seller for sending them so nicely. All right, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out Never Enough Toys podcast wherever you can find it. Spotify, Apple Music. Check you on the next one. DC Universe Classics.